and I'm going to scrub these guys with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, now, bear in mind that you don't want to start rocking this pot here because that adhesive is incredibly soft and it wants to come off the board. That's what it wants to do. Okay. And look, where's the marker now? It's gone. It's not sacrilege. Okay, let's just see where we are. Because we want to avoid an incident, and there's going to be an incident. And sometimes it's it's unavoidable. Um, and then you can see where we would have to literally jump everything over to, should the un, uh, unthinkable thing happen. Which, has it happened to me before? you damn right it has. And Ben, if you're watching, dude, I got your boogie. She's inside the lab, buddy. And I'm excited to get into it. And Alex, if you're watching, I've got your Sun 1000S or 2000S. S2000. I think it's 1000S. I'm just reminiscing back to my old car days. Back when I was a free man. When I was single, driving around Sunset Boulevard, looking at all the, the 80s and 90s goons that, that are still wearing the same... Outfits they were wearing back in the 80s when Van Halen was running around up there. Those guys are trapped in time up there. It's amazing. I love it. I love being around those guys. They have the best stories. I used to live right across from the Viper Room, just north uh, of the Viper Room, across Sunset, uh, halfway up the hill on Larrabee Avenue or Larrabee Street. And I would walk over to the, like any random night of the week was fun. If you're like a dude that likes random fun and random things... Then living in any major city would probably be your cup of tea. I'll tell you. But. But I used to go over to the Rainbow Room. And that's where Lenny, would, uh, Lenny from Motorhead would uh, hang out. And he used to drink over there so often. They had a bar stool with his name embossed on the back of it. And no one would sit there except for him. And you always knew when, when he was there. Well, because he would be at the bar. And he was a super cool son of a bitch, man. He would talk to anybody. He would also punch anybody in the face. So you would have to, like, do a bit of a temperature check before you go approach him. That was back when I was trying to make music. There was a day. Oh, let me get my magnifying glass out. 